Hello YouTube, this is Warner Little Peace and I'm doing a video on my Lego World War II faction, something I haven't done in quite a while. And right here you have, well on one side, the Allies, and on the other side we have the Germans. And on the back, of course, the vehicles. I have quite a, quite a few figs, but not many vehicles, I have to admit that. Uh, but still, I'm gonna show you around the figs first and then the vehicles. Uh, so, yeah. Here we have two uh, Wehrmacht uh, uh, German soldiers. So, ba two basic German soldiers. And they both have Lego Ulai decals. And that's from, it's the guy from Flickr. He traded uh, these with me. These are absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, so amazing decals he made. You can compare this to my old uh, German army video, and uh, well, you can see these are much better than well, what I had like painted on. Anyway, uh, then I have eight of these guys. Let's quick look around, they all have weapons. This one's got a different color, so it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, then back here I have two uh, different guys, which are Wilhelm. You probably recognize him, the brick arms guy. He's a winter German soldier with a printed torso. I also have his MG42, white MG42, and white uh, Luger. But well, right there he just has that guy. Uh, this guy here is a Nazi zombie, as you might see. Yeah, Nazi zombie, and he is absolutely amazing. It was actually a gift from German World War II builder. Some guys from Flickr might know him, of course. Uh, guys from here on YouTube, uh, I'm not quite sure if you guys know him. Anyway, I'll, if you want to buy one of these, I think he still sells them. Uh, and I'll just give you a link, just ask me in the comments below. They're amazing. Uh, then over here we got some barbed wire, I just put that there to fill up this, the blank space. Uh, here we got my uh, five Africa Corps uh, Germans. Start with this guy here. Normal gun, that one as well. Yep. Uh, to the back we have uh, three SS guys and well, one is um, the officer. Here. He's got a Brick Forge helmet. He actually has decals, they all do, but because it's on a black torso, it's actually quite difficult to see that he has a decal, but you can actually see it with the light. Uh, depends on the lighting, but you can see it. And then he's got a PPK, Walter PPK, uh, and a Luger as a gun. Uh, then I got two of these Wehrmacht soldiers, they also have decals. As you can see, yeah. And he's got a, a S S T S T G forty four vampire. Uh, this guy too. He has some weapons, as you can see. Uh, well, now on to the Allied uh, minifigs, which I'm gonna show you. I'm just noticing, like, my camera is doing some kind of light reflex, like over here. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, just another thing, I'm sorry about my voice, but that's because I'm kind of sick. And, well, just sorry about that. Now, onto the Allied Figs. I'm going to start right back here with the Australians. One of them has a custom Bren gun that I made. And the other one has an M1A1 Thompson, a knife. Yeah. They have motorcycles to ride in the desert, North African desert. Uh, then, then I have the uh, British SAS troops. One of them with an SMLD, the other one with an M1917 and a Lewis gun. But I left that on the on the Jeep. And the other one, just an M1A1 Thompson. He has in a turban to look kind of different. Then here you go. You have their Jeep which I made, uh, it's 
quite based on the old dam, well, a brick main is Jeep, like that one, it's quite based on that, and uh, it looks pretty accurate to the Jeep uh, thing, maybe a bit, uh, not actually proportional, maybe not to scale, but it's okay. Uh, the guns can go up and down, this is made by me, and so can this gun, as well as the Lewis gun. I can also uh, twist around and yeah, I can just a quick look. Just a quick look. Then here we have a uh, random, random British or American, I haven't really decided that, uh, pilot. It's pretty normal. No back printing, it's normal pilot. And over here, uh, two Canadian troops. Yep, they have a backpack. It's two Canadian troops. One has a grease gun. The other one, well, variety of guns. Anyway, uh, then I have my Americans, which are like largest group over here. And before I get to the big group, I forgot to show you these guys. I have a um, paratrooper from the uh, 101st Airborne, the Screaming Eagles. As you can see, he has a patch on the side, made by Minifig Cat. He has the American flag on the other. Uh, then back here we have um, uh, the two gunners from my LCVP and the driver. or Captain. I'll get to the vehicle later, just to show you the fix first. And then we have all my Americans. I have uh, 10 plus the medic, with the normal soldiers. Let me show you around. We got a sergeant over here. It doesn't actually have the markings. I had markings for him, but I removed them because they weren't looking too good. And then we have our sniper. Our Bazooka man, if you can call him that, and our BAR gunner over here. Then we have our um, medic with a medic suitcase, cap, and everything. And that's a custom medic helmet I made. And he's got his stretcher to carry around. Uh, over here we got our uh, Willie's Jeep gunner, our Willie's Jeep driver. And all these four guys over here are driving the M8 Greyhound I have from Brickmania. Uh, so I think I've showed you around pretty much all the figs. Actually, all the figs. And now I'm gonna get to the vehicles. Hope you like this part. Okay, so on to the vehicles. I've showed you the two more motorcycles from Lego and my uh, newest addition to this, the SAS Jeep. As you can see, the vehicles are uh, mostly American, and very few are actually German. Uh, and um, that's why I'm planning on getting a Panzer II or three. Oh, sorry, Panzer. No, sorry, Panzer 38T. That's what I'm actually making. I got confused because I'm actually making both of them. But uh, Panzer 38T. That's what I'm gonna try and get. I actually have the money. The instructions are not fully completed that's why I have to I'll need some time for that and then order the pieces and I'll probably have it like in a, two months or so because I'm going on vacation sometime soon anyway uh, onto the German vehicles well guns first we got a Nebelwerfer uh, 41 and that's a pretty cool gun it's got six barrels this is from Brickmania I did a review on this a while back Got some missiles crate over there. Then we got a mortar. This is actually an American mortar. And we got some missiles. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, then we got a uh, German Africa Corps gun. It's not very proportional, but I made this thing and it's a Le Effiga 118, I think. 
or Lil F a guy 18, you know. Not quite sure, I forgot the full number, Lil F a guy 118 does, I think that's what it is. And we'll just quick look around. Yeah. And then, uh, over at the back, oh, I so, uh, showed you the SAS Jeep. The back we've got the LCVP, and this is made by me, completely. I think you guys have seen this, I've showed you this on my, uh, one of my mocks, I think. Anyway, I'm sorry I haven't been very, very active here on YouTube. Just a lot of stuff on my mind. Other stuff I gotta do. And I spend more time on Flickr, I won't lie about that. Then so, uh, well the LCVP just over here is the commander, I mean captain, driver, hat, like, spot. Then we have the two gunner seats. I'll show you. There you go. Two gunner. Two gunners can go in there. And then we have our captain, just, or driver, to go over there. I can give him a little hat to carry around. Uh, yeah, then we got our American flag at the back. And over here we got two Brick Mania kits. One of them is the M8 Greyhound I was talking about. Swiveling the thing. There's a hatch right back there. So apparently, uh, I saw the other day, Brick Mania re-released this kit and we got this kit and it's actually pretty amazing uh, I would suggest you buy, you buy it even though it's slightly different I think the one I got uh, was cheaper and had better minifig parts but still it's still really nice and over here we have our Willy's Jeep I removed the gun and put in the MM CB capes cape uh, capes uh, escape whatever and on the Jeep, looks like this, just to show you the real thing. And it actually looks pretty good. I got this with the Jeep, it was like a promotion. First 100 orders would get this. Mm -hmm. Then I changed the wheels, as you can see. I'm supposed to have these wheels, I changed them. Still have the wheels here in a box, but still change them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just uh, wanted to show you that I have a windshield for my SAS Jeep, but I prefer it to look that way. It looks more, well, uh, like it's on the field. I don't know how to explain that. I have a pa custom made parachute, which actually works alright for my paratrooper. And well, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and bye bye.